Hey here, ones. Happy Wednesday and welcome to our vocabulary lesson. So last week I saw that we've been starting to learn about energy words. So these are words that describe how we feel. So we're going to review those energy words that you learned about last week. And when we review them, we're going to do a little bit of acting out to show how that might be feeling. So feel free to stand up if you're in front of your computer or your tablet or your television because you're going to get to act out some of these words. So we're starting with tired. Tired means in need of sleep or rest. So what might we be acting like if we're tired? Oh, what might we be doing? Oh, big yawn, big stretch. Will we be moving really quickly or will we be moving really slowly because we're tired? It's tired, act out tired for me. I feel like I can see you now. I know who's being really dramatic about it, which I love. Our next word is lively. So if you're lively, you're full of energy. You're lively, you're up, you're awake, you're ready to go. Maybe you're sitting up straight in your chair. Maybe you're ready. Maybe you're looking around. You're on your toes, ready to move. So we've got tired, we've got lively. Now we go back down to Drowsy. Drowsy means you're really, you're not just tired, you're so sleepy, you're, pro you're about to fall asleep, so your eyes must be getting quite heavy. Make sure you're closing your eyes. Oh, very tired. Sleepy. Oh, ready to go to sleep. Maybe if I'm at school, I might put my head down on the desk because I'm so sleepy. That means drowsy. Next, we have exhausted. If you're exhausted, you're very tired. You're so tired. You're not about to fall asleep, but your body feels tired. So how might we be moving if we're exhausted? I think you've just done a PE lesson with Mr. Suarez Mystery. Oh, you come back, you're feeling really tired. <sighs> just lots of breathing, head down. So tired, drowsy, exhausted are all of those very sluggish words. Sluggish comes up next. And we have bouncy. So if you're bouncy, that's like us on a Friday afternoon. We're ready to go. We can't sit still in our chair. Show me, show me that you're bouncy. You can literally be bouncing. Then we move on to sluggish. Now sluggish is Sluggish is our class on a Monday morning. When I say, get out your pens and write down your learning objective, we move slowly. Show me that slow moving. I want to see everybody being sluggish. You're like a turtle going slowly, sluggish. All right, after sluggish, we have a weary. I'm weary. You're feeling or showing extreme tiredness. Oh, I'm weary. I always think of weary. I think of my bones and my muscles, my body really aching, my arms and my legs. So I'm, I'm walking, but my arms are weak and my legs are weak and I'm dragging them along. Show me some weary walking. Think of your Frankenstein walk, but with our arms down. Then we've got three more words, which are nice words. They brighten us up. They're a bit more active. We have active which means you're busy, you're lively, you're energetic. If I'm active, I'm not gonna be sat in my chair. I'm gonna be moving around, lots to do, lots to move. And then we have energetic, which is showing great activity. So imagine you're out on the playground, you've just hit the, the field and you're ready to run. So you're energetic. Show me how you get that energy out. Jog on the spot, maybe stretch around, maybe do a little dance. You guys are better at flossing than I am. And finally, our last word is dynamic. So we have, if you're dynamic, you're full of energy and new ideas. Oh, you have new ideas. What do we do if we want to share an idea? Oh, oh, oh. Dynamic, think you know the answer and you're on the edge of your seat and you want to share it with the teacher. Oh, pick me, pick me. That's dynamic. We've got lots of new ideas to share. So we've got energy words that tell us that, that show that we're having really high energy, like lively and bouncy and active. And we have energy words that show us that we're really low energy, like drowsy and exhausted and weary. And today we're gonna to put some of those energy words to use. So we have a true or false problem here. So using your thumbs on the screen, if you think it's true, 
thumbs up. If you think it's false, thumbs down. So I hop and skip about when I'm drowsy. Think about what we said drowsy means. <sighs> I hop and skip about when I'm drowsy. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Have a think. If you said thumbs down, well done. We wouldn't be hopping and skipping about because to hop and skip about, we have some energy. The sprinter was exhausted after the race. The sprinter, that's a runner, was exhausted after the race. So have a think about that sentence and what it's telling us. What do you think? Is it true or false? It's absolutely true. So if we've ran a big race, we're probably going to be feeling very, very tired after that race. And we said exhausted means very, very tired. Number three, I am weary after a long walk over the hills. I am weary after a long walk over the hills. What do you think? Give you a bit of a clue from before. We said weary, remember we thought about our our muscles and our body parts kind of aching or being really tired. So if you go for a long walk over a hill, do you think your arms and legs might be a bit tired? Yes, so weary means very, very tired. I think of your body being tired. So you're right, after a long walk over the hills, you would be tired. So that is true. The dog was energetic. It ran across the field and into the woods. The dog was energetic. It ran across the field and into the woods. What do we think? Is that true or false? Are we using energetic correctly? I didn't think I needed to explain that one to you. Well done, energetic. We've got the word energy in energetic. We can hear it and we know if we have energy, we are moving around, we're very active. So well done, that was a true. I am sluggish in the morning. It takes me ages to get dressed. I am sluggish in the morning. It takes me ages to get dressed. Remember that one from before? I said that's like us on a Monday morning slugs. Do slugs move quickly or slowly? That's right, they're quite slow. So if you're sluggish, it means you're really slow moving. So you're right, that would be true. Maybe not true for you. Maybe you're very speedy in the morning, but the sentence is true. The tired snail slowly climbed the walls. The tired snail slowly climbed the wall. So have think, picture that, we've got a snail. What's he doing? We've talked about sentences this week. So our noun is the snail, what's he doing? He's climbing up the wall. Is he gonna be going, if, if he's tired, is he gonna be moving slowly or quickly? That's right, he'll probably be moving slowly. So if you said that sentence was true, another well done. And finally, we have the lively boy fell asleep on his bed. The lively boy fell asleep on his bed. Do you think thumbs up if it's true, thumbs down if it's false? Does it make sense to use that word? The lively boy fell asleep on his bed. If you said thumbs down, well done. If he's lively, that means he has lots of energy. And when we have lots of energy, are we ready to go to bed? Not quite. So well done on our trues and falses, everybody. Now we're gonna put ourselves to the test. So which word is more lively? Drowsy or active? Drowsy or active? And I'd like you to write these down on a piece of paper for me because this I'd love to see a picture of. So I'm gonna say number one, which word is more lively? Drowsy or active? And we'll go through them all when we're done. You can pause the video at any time if you need to write it down and you feel like I'm going too fast, you just pause the video so you can write down the word. All right, which word is more lively? Sluggish or energetic? Sluggish or energetic? And that one's going to be number two. It's a bit easier for us to write them down when we have our numbers. Great, remember, pause the video if you're writing them down. Okay, number three. Again, which word is more lively? Bouncy 
or weary, bouncy or weary. And lastly, we have number four, which word is more tired? Which word is more tired? Exhausted or active? Exhausted or active? So remember, you can go back in the video anytime if you need to see them again. And now we're going to take them up together. So let me get my pen. I'll use a purple pen today because that's what we usually use. Which word is more lively, drowsy or active? That's right, active is more lively. Drowsy means very, very tired, almost asleep. Which word is more lively? Sluggish, remember, slugs move slowly. Or energetic. That's right, year one, energetic. We know all about energetic in year one. We've got that. Which word is more lively? Bouncy or weary? I always think of Tigger when I think of bouncy, Tigger from Winnie the Pooh, because he's always bouncing. So I would say you could describe him as a very bouncy character. So Tigger is very lively. He is bouncy. Remember weary is like when we said you were going over the hills, your, your bones ache, your muscles ache, you're very tired. And finally, which word is more tired? That's the key word we want to be looking for. Which word is more tired? Is it exhausted or active? And that's right, it's exhausted. So give yourself a tick for the answers if, if you got them right. And if you didn't remember, use a different colored pencil or pen to fix any mistakes that you made and it will help you to remember for next time. So fantastic work on your vocab today, everybody. Really, really proud and pleased with you. And I had quite I thought that was quite fun acting it out. Hopefully you acted it out. And if you can film any of your acting out and send it in, that would be amazing. And we would love to see it because that's something we really miss is getting to see all of your acting out and all your drama when we're doing our storytelling and our vocabulary. So I can't wait to see what you produce and I will see you later. Bye.